The Herzliya Conference is Israel's foremost global policy annual gathering, drawing together the most senior Israeli and international participants, from government, business and academia, to address pressing national, regional and global issues. The Herzliya Conference is devoted to deal with the balance of Israel's national strengths and security. Such an undertaking requires the assessment of complex data and a wide range of topics. This year, we have three presidents and three prime ministers. I think we have a fascinating conference ahead of us. Half of the government will be here, 20 Knesset members, more than 20 CEOs of international corporations. It's unprecedented, and it's quite refreshing at these difficult times. Over the years, the Herzliya Conference has become a stage for world leaders and a stage for the formation of ideas, assessments, and concrete recommendations. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to be a part of this very prestigious discussion seminar on regional security and peace. Ten years, Israel has shown to be one of the most performing economies of the whole world. Although the regional context is a very difficult one. So it makes sense from the point of view of Israel, the Palestinian Authority, to try to negotiate a real deal of a demilitarized Palestinian state that recognizes the nation state of the Jewish people. The United States will never stop working to realize the goal of two states living side by side in peace and security because this is the best way to guarantee Israel's future as a democratic Jewish state. To try to understand how much the political and social turmoil in the Middle East is having an impact not only on the Middle East but also on the global economy and financial markets. Traditionally inaugurated by the President of Israel, the Herzliya Conference is considered one of the top conferences of its kind, ranked among the World Economic Forum in Davos and the Munich Security Conference. Towards a new Israeli order is a special project on the socio-demographic transformation of Israel that President Rivlin unveiled at the 2015 Herzliya Conference. The demographic processes that are reshaping the face of Israeli society have in fact created a new Israeli order. An order in which there is no longer a clear majority or minorities. An order in which Israeli society is made up of four sectors, and if we like, four main tribes. The Herzliya Conference is the center stage for Middle East risk assessment and policy analysis. The conference agenda covers a broad span of issues ranging from nuclear proliferation and the Middle East peace process, to Israeli innovation, Israeli society, world finance and energy security. The Herzliya Conference is the place for policy assessments and deliberations. The plenary sessions featured discussion among leading officials and experts, as well as moderated debates with Western foreign and defense ministers deliberating relations with Israel. Alongside plenary sessions, senior officials and experts convene in roundtable sessions for in-depth discussions on pertinent subjects to flesh out the issues in a frank and off-the-record exchange, allowing for an authoritative assessment of strategies and policy alternatives. Having welcomed over 3,000 participants annually from Israel and abroad, Herzliya Conference can look forward to continuing to be the center stage for the articulation of policy and where decision makers meet to plan the future of Israel and the Middle East. <laughs>